Hello friends, welcome to the new session of PLA Skill Developer Tips and Tricks for Beginners. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to connect a Oracle new schema with PLA Skill Developer. There are uh, in three ways we can connect a schema with PLA Skill Developer. First one is connecting local schema with local machine, which means you have uh, already your database installed in your local machine and you are connecting that uh, schema with your PLA Skill Developer. So for that, uh, there is no dependency. You can simply install the PLS Skill Developer and you can uh, directly connect the schema which you want. The second method is connecting a remote schema with TNS entry. Say for example, you have your database installed in your server and you are connecting that schema from your local machine or your client machine for which you need a TNS entry. So we are going to see how to put TNS entry and connect the remote uh, database schema. And the third one is uh, we, are, we have uh, same the database installed in the remote server and uh, we are going to connect this uh, without TNS entry. First we will see the first method connecting schema in local machine. So in this method let's say for example I have my database installed in my local laptop. So I am going to show you how to connect that schema. First open the PLSQL developer. So if you want to know how to install PLSQL developer, you can refer my previous video. I have given the link in the description. You can refer to the installation video if you don't have. Or else if you have already PLSQL installed in your machine, you can now proceed this video. So I have uh, Oracle installed in my local machine. So in that case, now I always direct the database from your local machine. So I'm going to connect my local schema called Ketcher. So in username, you need to input the schema which you want to connect and in the password field, you need to connect your and in the password field, you need to enter your schema password and click OK. That's it. We have connected our schema with the PLSQL developer. So if you want to write any select statement, you can and you can write and execute. Similar way, if you want to connect any sys user like DBA user, right? So in that case, you need to connect your sys with your password and in the connect class should be sysdba. Since it's not a normal user, so you need to connect with sysdba. So that's it. Our sys user, we are able to connect with the PLSQL developer. So we are able to run the query against this is user. That's it. This is a simple method, first method. When you have your database installed in your local machine, so no, there is no dependency. You should have a PLSQL developer and you can directly connect the schema. The next method is when you have your database installed in your server and you are connect, trying to connect in the client machine. So in that case, so you need to download the Oracle client from the Oracle official site. So if you have a 64 bit machine, you need to download the 64 bit client from Oracle site. Or if you have 32 bit machine, then you need to download the 32 bit Oracle client from official site. So this is the link. And I will have given the link in the description based on the version you want. You can download from the Oracle site. It's all right. You need to navigate uh, the folder where you have installed. So in my case, consider this is my Oracle client. I have installed in this folder. So I have to navigate this app and then Oracle. Inside the Oracle folder, you will be able to find one folder called product and then server. And inside this, there is a folder called network. Inside network, there is a folder called admin. So if you navigate inside this admin code folder, you will be able to find the TNS name dot ORF file. In this file, you need to put your TNS entry. Let's say for example, this is my server TNS detail. So I have named my connection as XE and the host is nothing but your uh, IP where your database got installed. Port is nothing but your database port and server name is nothing but your PDB name. 
database name. So in my case, this name you can give any name. So say for example, in this case, I'm giving us learning. So I have saved my database, the ATNS name. So say for example, this database is installed in my remote database. I am putting this TNS entry in my client machine. So I have saved this CTNS file and I am trying to connect with PLSQL developer. Open the PLSQL developer and in the drop down C, you will be able to find the database name. So I want to connect my remote schema. So input your schema name, username is nothing but your schema name and give your schema password and uh, select the database you want to connect. So if you have in your case, you need to put uh, multiple entries in the TNS ORA file. Say for example, you have uh, three PDBs or 10 PDBs. Based on that, you need to put entries in the TNS dot, TNS name dot ORA file. That's all, you can click. So we are able to connect the PLSQL developer. And usually you can select the SQL window and you can query the database. This is second method. So the third method is when you want to connect a remote database from the client machine, but you don't want to put the TNS entry. We will see how to put. So in that case, you must know your host IP where your database got installed. So in my case, I am taking localhost is my host name and colon i need to give my database port and slash followed by my database name so xc is my database name say for example in your case where you have uh, your uh, remote database got installed give the ip and the database port name and give the pdb name so copy this and open the PLSQL developer. So provide your schema name and password. And instead of uh, this database name, right, you replace with your connection string. So you are connecting your remote database host name, colon, your remote database port, and your slash, your remote database database name. That's it. Click OK. So you will be able to connect your remote database without TNS entry. So these are the three ways you can uh, connect your schema with the PLSQL developer. So first one is usual method. So both your database as well as your PLSQL having your local machine. And the second method, you have, uh, you are in client machine. You are trying to connect with your remote database by putting the TNS entry. The third method is you are connecting your remote database from the client within without putting TNS entry. So in that case, you must know your host name and the database port and the database name. That's all. I hope this video is clear enough. If you have any doubt on this, you can leave a comment in the comment section. Thanks for watching. If you like my videos, you can subscribe my channel for regular updates. Thank you so much.